Now that we've got our experiment configured and we've chosen our probe from the drop down menu, we're ready to start streaming data. So we return to the control portion of the screen, click stream data, and there it is. So um, as I mentioned before, this is simulated data that's being run directly into the smart box. This data contains both um, LFP and in um, single unit data. But as we started streaming, what shows up on the screen is too large. The traces are, the signal on the traces um, are so large that they're uh, running into one another. So we will want to adjust the amplitude of um, each individual uh, trace on the screen. So to do that, we we'll want to look at our toolbox of options for um, controlling what we display on our spike uh, on our spike trace channel. This um, toolbox has five different options. The default is to drag to scroll. That lets us move our data up and down to access um, all of the channels that are being streamed at a given time. If we right click to return to that menu, the next option is the one that we want here, which is to zoom amplitude. We left click to choose the tool, and then we left click and drag. If you drag up, you can increase the amplitude even further, but what we want to do is lower the amplitude so that we can get distinct signals. There are other options on that toolbox though. If we right click, there's a zoom spacing option. Again, left click to choose left click and hold, drag upward to put more space between the traces, drag downward to put less space between. Right click to return to the menu. The next option is to control both of those at the same time. You can zoom both the amplitude and the spacing. Again, hold and drag. And with this option, um, we were able to drag down and put all of the different traces that we're streaming onto the same screen at the same time. You see down here, these are all 32 channels. This option is available no matter how many um, uh, channels that we're streaming with up to the 256 uh, channel limit of the smart box. So if we were using multiple head stages with a high enough channel count that we reached our 256 channel limit, we would be able to still uh, uh, choose this option and get all 256 channels on the screen simultaneously. The question is essentially how useful is being able to see all 256 channels or 128 or 64, however many channels that you're displaying. Um, how useful is it to you to be able to look at all of the channels at once versus a subset of the channels? But um, that's a decision that you can make based on the resolution of your screen, the size of your screen, and um, just how distinct you want your different channels to be. In this case, we're looking at 32, and as you can see, each uh, signal is uh, pretty distinct. At least uh, uh, we can see the, the different slow waves on the different channels.